to cut down on catalytic converter thefts here in the metro. And Omaha City Councilman is proposing a measure to deter people from stealing the parts. And as KETV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy reports, victims say they need this. City Councilman Vinny Palermo says the measure is a first step to stop criminals from stealing catalytic converters, but he adds it won't be a quick fix. I'm scared to drive it because I can't just keep <laughs> shelling out money. Tim Mates says his catalytic converter was stolen last month. Never had any issues. Woke up that morning, you know, turned the car on, crazy loud. I knew something was up. And a few weeks later, it happened again during dinner. Are you serious? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are the odds? You know, and it was right there the whole time. But getting it replaced was the bigger problem because he has an older car. Mates says it wasn't covered under his insurance and some repair shops were asking close to $3,000 for a new one. Losing hope in humanity. Um, it was just, yeah, very discouraging, disheartening. You know, you try to do everything right and then you get punished for it. Mate says he got a cage to protect his catalytic converter, but he's looking to the city for more help. What are you guys going to start doing about this? Because it's affecting, you know, everyone. We've heard loud and clear, um, please help us, please do something. Vinny Palermo introduced an ordinance during the last city council meeting after working with Omaha police on ways to deter these thefts from happening. With this proposed amendment change, they will have to have a, a license to have these, and if they don't have one, then it'll give them the authority to take further action. What that punishment will look like is up to police. Palermo says the next step is targeting places where thieves can sell catalytic converters. We're still going to have to work on the part where they can go to the secondhand vendor to turn in the stolen property. But for now, Palermo hopes city council members will vote yes to the amendment in March. We know with the uptick currently that we need to do something here at the city level, and this is a first step in the right direction. And on a state level, LB 994 will be heard next week in the Nebraska legislature. It aims to place restrictions on purchasing and selling catalytic converters at metal recycling companies. Reporting in the newsroom, Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7. All right.